So what happens to this uh, after it, it, it then disintegrates? This It doesn't disintegrate. It actually goes to an orbit of 100 by 100 kilometer around moon. Mm -hmm. It is still there. It is working. Mm -hmm. But we made this time that this was this is not a functional element today. But th uh, we have one payload on it, which is called shape payload today, mm -hmm. which is going to do an observation of Earth. And what kind of measurements does it do from there? It is actually looking at Earth in a spectral nature of the Earth is measured and it is trying to find out the similarity between Earth and a future exosolar planet that is a planet which around any other star, not moon, sun, if you ever discover, if you are able to get the spectral characteristic of the emissions coming from that object and the emission coming from Earth, if you can find certain comparison, you can say the life controlling emissions which is of various nature, now presence of water, presence of oxygen, presence of bio uh, systems, etc. So if you can characterize the Earth in a spectral manner, then you can characterize that object's emissions through the atmosphere of that also in the similar manner. Anything which uh, Pragyan or uh, Vikram have sent so far about the moon surface which we have not disclosed to the world as yet? Yeah, there are interesting things. Uh, hmm. For example, the moon's uh, topography, the surface characteristics, we did uh, two important measurements. There is a payload called Chaste, mm -hmm. which uh, we pierced a probe into it, which is a composite material. Inside there are heaters, which uh, apply some heat temperature and measure the temperatures. And also look at how the surface is like a very thick, very good insulator. So we found that even though the ARPA surface is uh, room temperature, little higher temperature, the within 10 centimeter down, the temperature has gone so much less so that means the heat transfer into it is through very, very less. This is a new finding. Mm -hmm. Similarly, the rover, when it actually moved on the surface, the wheel, mm -hmm. and also the landing process, we were expecting a lot of dust. Nothing was seen of that type. Mm -hmm. We found a very mild dust coming out, not huge dust. But that was surprising. And finally, what we found is the dust is, the surface is not very dusty. It's actually ch chunks of the soil is coming out. It's not very, very dusty or powdery which is a very important finding, why it is uh, it's not so in that zone. Because whatever data that we have collected from various other sources for people who have already gone to moon, collected the samples, especially in the equatorial region, we are sp speaking about dust as mm. a major issue. Correct. And we didn't find it to be a major issue in this zone. So it definitely it's an interesting finding and uh, it needs further investigation. What makes it to be like that? And what are the materials that make it to be like this? Uh, it's okay. definitely not water, of course. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Okay. Idu Asianet News Network prastuti. New North Dira Asianet Subarna News.